here we are btp we are here in battle dome finally long overdue me versus tommy ford tommy listen this is you know from sports for the day sports center i don't have a premature beard growing in my face because i shaved it off but they have a lot of talk that you be doing and, oh i'm the first internet champion oh, i'm the junior every week now I don't give a damn about titles. I don't give a damn about anything else. You've been running around here thinking that you're hot shit, but you're really not. If it wasn't for me, you would be still collecting belts, trying to grow that beard and like the bearded bastard. Let's be real. I'm an unpredictable opponent. You don't know if you're gonna win or lose, but it's funny. You pick your shots here and there but I came and picked you because you think that you can be anyone let's get this straight I fear no one I come to fight any day anytime anywhere you think I can worry about titles right now so be it I will eventually be a champion at any type Nothing gets handed to me. I don't go and beg for title shots. But come this right now, you will fight. You can say all the sports references all you want. You can go and put that road gain on your face to let you know this. I'm not to be messed with. You know this. I don't give a rat's ass about the boom boom room. I don't give a rat's ass about the gentleman's club. It's me and you, and you know this. Check me. Jason Babble. Babble, babble, bitch, bitch, rebel, rebel, party, party. <laughs> there will be no sex, sex, sex. All there's going to be is violence, violence, violence. I'm going to get my hands on you tonight and show you what the true meaning of anarchy is all about. You want to run around here thinking you've got what it takes, that you've got what it takes to be number one. Newsflash, buddy, you don't. Because tonight, three things are going to happen. Number one, I'm going to come down that ring. I'm going to grab you by your potato head. And I'm going to mangle it and turn it into waffle fries. Number two. I'm going to drag you around the arena and bludgeon you and bloody you, hit you with an anar cutter over and over and over again. See, I'm at the point now where I don't care what happens to me physically as long as I cause detrimental damage to anybody that steps in the foot after foot in the ring with me. Oh, don't worry. Yes, I said foot after foot because I'll let you get both feet in the ring and give you that slight little chance. <laughs> but number three. Number three will be me winning, standing over your limp carcass you don't know who you're stepping foot with you don't know who you're going toe to toe with you don't know who you're stepping in the ring with but tonight I show you the real meaning of Anna I'm usually familiar with all of the diseases in BTB I'm very familiar with those who 
Respect BTB. But you, anarchist, you're like a little hidden disease. A disease that eventually will need to be cured. You will be. You see, anarchist, your name says it all. You believe in anarchy. You believe in chaos. You believe in destruction. Just like a disease would. <laughs> but now, you're gonna come face to face with your cure. And I bring a cure. That's full of rage. A cure. Hope and destruction. Anarchist. You are going to be the catalyst of my anger going into Hellbound. You will be the example I set towards Omega and the Hammer for their treachery, for their non-belief of my cure. You will also be the one that makes the entire BTB realize that there is no stopping this cure, this enlightenment that is needed in BTB. So tonight, in the Battle Dome, Anarchist, welcome to your untimely demise. Welcome to your salvation. Welcome to your cure. The end. Before I get to the task at hand, which is, what's his name, what's his name again? What? What do they call him? What? Okay, I'm told that they call you the standard, the sole standard of this, this, this business? Is that, is that how you go? Is that, is that quoted from you? I mean, seriously, do you, did you give yourself that name? Did you, did, did you like call yourself that? Did he literally just call himself the standard of this business? Wow. I mean, hey, I'm the hammer, don't get me wrong. I come out at you at six foot, six hundred and seventy-five pounds, a monster and a big son bitch. But a standard? Hell man, you got some now you probably don't have any balls. You probably have what they call it <laughs> Wish I had some balls. You know, the people who act tough in front of anybody else, but when it comes to actually a fight, they kind of they, they kind of dip right back in. You know what I mean? They just sink right back in. That's who you are. The man who calls himself the standard of this business. Because in any place you can be, everybody knows you get beat. You remember the hammer, right? How many times I beat you so far? I know it's not BTB related, I get it, I get it, but seriously though, I've beaten you so many times, I'm surprised you took the match. But anyways, it doesn't really matter, what matters is this standard, you are my stepping stone, you are a guy that's going to warm me up, you are my sparring partner, and I'm going to hurt you. To show a message to Omega. You know, even though I'm going to be going to Hellbound in a triple threat match between Babel, 
the hammer and that piece of trash that calls himself Omega. Now, Babel, I have no beef with, I got no problem with. You see, I'm only in this to get Omega. But you see, to get Omega, I gotta get Babel. And to get Babel and Omega, I need to get the standard to warm my ass up. Because I am a big bitch. you know what I'm saying? So we need to get myself a little in shape before I go into Hellbound. Because Hellbound, that could be the start of the hammers. That could be the start of the rain that the hammer is going to have here at the BTP. And this man that calls himself the gatekeeper has been pissing me off. So standard. <laughs> the standard of this business. What are you going to do to me? Inside that squared circle, are you going to run laps around me and try to get me dizzy? Are you going to pull some Rey Mysterio bullshit and try to jump off the ropes and hurricane on me? Because I'm telling you now, I'm going to treat you in that ring like a damn elastic. I'm going to pull by and let her howl. And you're going to be flying every which way but loose. But whenever you get to the hammer, whenever you slow down and you get right in front of me, I'm going to kick you in that scrawny little gut. And I am going to hit you with the hammer bomb dead direct center of the ring. And when it's all said and done, standard, you will just be... Another victim of the hammer, just as the Babel was. But you see, the difference is this time, if anybody comes behind me, I will be having eyes behind my damn head. And Standard, I am very sorry if I make quick work out of you. But I don't have time for bullshit, and I don't have time for people who think they're great. I'm the hammer! I am one of the best here, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. The hammer is coming down, and I will leave you beaten, battered. You know the rest. There's so much history behind this match that you guys don't realize, and that's because myself, your soul, standard of this business and the hammer have faced off time and time again ranging from promotion to promotion and each and every single time that has happened I have fell short of the victory now most people would meet a statistic like that with anger hell maybe disdain but I have a different thought process you see, I take that scar and I look at it every single day as a reminder that there is always room to improve no matter how long you've been in this business. So, Hammer, tonight's not just one of those matches where I tell you that that is going to change. Tonight is the night that I tell you that on Battle Dome, that pattern, it has to change. Because if it doesn't, everything I've told the BTP since I've gotten back becomes meaningless and gets swept under the rug. I have walked into this place and I have taken out one of the most violent people to step foot in this industry just as well as picking up a victory over the native states champion in a non-title match so what better way to continue on my journey by finally overcoming one of the greatest challenges that has ever stepped in front of me and that is choking out the hammer because you're going to walk down to the ring with all confidence, your head held high, knowing how it's going to work out, right? And that's exactly how I like it. But you better hope that that ref doesn't look the other way, blink or sneeze, because I have no problem doing whatever it takes to give myself the upper hand. And whether I latch in that bar-raising choke or I hit you with that springboard knee to your temple, nonetheless, the end result will be your soul standard of this business finally putting down the hammer once and for all and proving to him that even though our history favors the hammer, our future will always favor the standard.
<laughs> battle Dome, Battle Dome, who art thou? <laughs> Once again, as you see, I'm not even prepared. Hair's not done to take on the badass Ludacris. Well, Ludacris, let me tell you why this was the biggest mistake of your puny career. Because, see, I'm going to break down exactly what you are to BTB. Your theme song says it all. Bad. You're pretty bad. And I don't mean ass-kicking scares the talent. I just mean you're playing bad. You're not on the level of conceited in the OC. And then, ass. Well, we all know, Juan, Ludacris is purely just a big ass in the BTB. And old school has come here tonight because you called him out and you wanted a match that was just so important to your career to face the OS. Well, that's fine. But see, the problem is, Ludacris, I'm not going to take it politely on you just because I like you. See, I'm going to walk that aisle like I always do. Head held high, anger full. Get in that ring with you. And I'm going to decapitate the ludicrous one. This ain't going to be a cool little episode of the Fast and the Furious where Ludacris sings at the end. It's going to be a eulogy for a guy who used to be a dark character. Now he thinks he's a badass character. And one E-G-O-D-D-T is all it's going to take. Trust me. But I'm not going to give it all at one shot. See, I'm going to beat on you and beat on you and beat on you until maybe, maybe you're in my league. But right now, you're just not. Because I hang with the World Heavyweight Champion. You don't. And that six-man title, I'm glad you brought it up in all your little hypes. It's a cute little piece of trinket. But here's the fact. When I win a championship or Conceited wins one, we win it on our own. We don't need tag team partners and we don't need friends. We're the only friends we need, my friend. So what I want you to do, sit back, take all that regret, and take it to the six-man division where you belong. Because see, OS has just wasted another three minutes of his life coming to Battle Dome and taking you on, Ludacris. So don't call my name again. Because the next time, I won't be so damn nice. I'll put you out of this business for good. OS. yourself as a top guy here in BTB, which you're not. The first thing that I need to do to you is just take you by the throat, throw you against the ropes. As soon as you're coming right back at me, I'm going to give you that forearm of death. You're going to stay dazed. You're not going to know what the heck is coming at you. You don't know what the heck is, is you, you're seeing. I go, pick you up, and give you that ludicrous slam. As soon as I'm done doing that ludicrous slam, I'm going to pick you up by that little tiny bit of hair that you have left. I'm going to smack you in the face, and I'm going to look at you dead in the face, and I'm going to tell you, you should have never accepted the match against me, because I'm going to show how weak you are. You're the weakest person here in BTB. You need to decide with somebody to keep your name out there. Because that is the truth. You cannot do it on your own. Every single time you try, you fail. You have to join war. You have to join elite dynasty. You have to join I don't know what other crap. You have joined so many groups. It's not even funny. You can't even count them on your fingers anymore. You can't.
cannot do it on your own. I just beating you down. And you know what? I'm just going to pick you up back up again. And I'm going to give you that tombstone ludicrous style to finish you off. And I'm not just going to go and pin you. I'm going to do what a cocky wrestler would do. Put my foot over your chest and have the ref count. One, two, three. Ding, ding. Game over. Old school.